Uh, I wrote that paper, which you refer to, which seems to become a bit notorious, hmm. uh, in the in interlude between uh, the Conservative government and the Labour government coming in. And it was really in the form of briefing for the incoming ministers. And that report was not made public, was it? It took decades for it to come to light. Well, Should it, it have been published at the time? No, because it was, I mean, when civil servants write briefs for ministers, they're confidential for the purpose for which they're written. And so it wasn't intended to be published. Um, and it was quite right that it wasn't published at the time. Actually, most of the information which I gathered and put into that report was already available. Uh, in various sources. The Observer newspaper had been running a couple of um, editions on it in successive Sundays which had argued that the oil revenues were going to be much larger than was then imagined and that was what I concluded in my paper. Right. That was then. What about now? now? Today's report from the Institute for Fiscal Studies seems to paint a, a different picture. Uh, for, th for you, how have things changed since then? Well, the position has changed enormously since then. I mean, the oil has run down quite a bit since then. It's not we, The peak of oil production was about 1999. The oil price collapsed in the mid-1980s and has only recently begun to recover, but it's not, I think, up to... I mean, the oil revenues are nothing like as large now as they would have been in real terms in the, uh, in the uh, early 1980s. Uh, there are still more than 2 billion barrels of oil under the North Sea, it is That's said. right. That's right. It'll That's last right. for another 40 years. Yes, um, probably. Does that strengthen or weaken the case for Scottish independence based well, on uh, full revenue from that oil? I think at the moment what came out very clearly from the IFS uh, contribution to today's uh, discussions, uh, and something that we knew already really, was that Scotland pays its fair share of taxation to the UK exchequer, but, it, but the level of public expenditure per head in Scotland is about £1,000 higher than the UK average, so that Scotland's contribution without oil is not sufficient to pay for the level of public expenditure. The oil more or less makes up the difference at the moment. 